Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. And I hope everyone has a great weekend, safe weekend, and no drinking and driving. That's Make right. Make it safe. Be we, safe. You got Uber. You got a lot of different things to... Put some money into the fine people of Uber's pockets. Yeah, Why not? totally. Why not? Right? <laughs> no, you know? for sure. Uh, market. Let's see, your collar's spiking there. We'll get I you know, fixed up. Man, for, I know, man. What's at, going on with the collar? I, I ironed it this morning. Should have used the steamer that I gave I you. I did. Man. I did use the steamer. Not enough. You were I too, know. too big of a rush. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's the weekend. I'll get you looking good. But I did. Private. I did. I kept, and the whole way in, I kept putting it down. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, market wise out here, let's take a look at it. We get the Dow down 16, you get the NASDAQ up 1. Um, s and uh, flat gold contract. Uh, we get some traction, man. It's up by 1080, 1267. We have the silver market up 17 cents, 17 dollars 34 cents. Platinum is uh, caught a bit up 16 bucks, 964. Uh, oil flat, 49 dollars 10 cents. Notes up four ticks, 126.09. The 30 is up uh, 10 ticks, 154.05. Oh, five. Good old King Dollar up 169 ticks at 97.345. And uh, what we have uh, is that we have the Russell 2000 uh, trading 13.75. That means our man Mike from Somerville, we got to keep that baby down. He has those 1380s at the close. He's yeah, in he the did. money, honey. Yeah, so he got into those, if I recall. He was shorting it at 13.86, yeah. 13.85 maybe, five points out of the money on the weekly. Maybe that was Wednesday, Tuesday he was talking to us. Right. Um, yeah, and he's now five points in the money, and we'll take a peek later in the, the show, maybe pull that up, because of course, you know, as the, the day wanes on, that's something he might want to look if he's in front of a computer or, or taking that trade off. If, you know, you you got maybe 90 cents, 85 cents on the dollar, come two o'clock, you and, and you're close, I mean, that's right. where there's, you know, something to consider, at least. No, no doubt. Yeah. And if we go over it, folks, and we take a look at this, Russell, that, now this was really unusual in the aspect that... The markets are at highs, and the Russell gave it up big. The Russell, you know, the indice got to 1392 yesterday, and then closed at 1380. It Making got, Mike sweat a little bit yesterday. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, Dave it's, defined risk, I, right? That's how it, he, it, it, when he puts those trades on, and some people do, but he's he's risking what he's putting on. That's yeah. for sure. So oh yeah, I, uh, I'd say he's probably still in those, right? Right, and, yeah. and, and you know, and Market Insights were shot that too. Sure. So so it's like, man, I was looking, saying, man, oh man, what's happening here? And what it did, it's pretty amazing, folks. You know, your benchmark is the downdraft. Yeah. And guess what? It got over it and it couldn't handle it. And, you know, what you're going to be looking for out here today. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting because today should be a very low volume day. And if we get an expansion in volume in the small caps or in anything, actually, that, that are going down, that's a good, big indication that next week, yeah, it's like, okay, how are you getting an expansion of volume? We're going to There's a There's no traders week. here. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You see the banner on the top of the side. You can uh, test drive uh, the platform. And of course, uh, this week, normally we talk about Sunday nights. Uh, bottom line is that um, yeah, the currencies. Oh, this will be interesting. So the currencies will still be out there probably Sunday night. We I'm not sure. Out. We yeah. can figure it out. Uh, but. Uh, Mon Tuesday morning, bottom line, whether whatever indice you're looking at, uh, commodity you're looking at, uh, you're going to get some action. So let's go look at the, the weekly Russell right That's now. That's what I was jumping okay. to. So here we are. Indices, binaries, U.S. Yep. small cap 2000, weekly. Yep. Here are weeklies, trading at 1375. Right. And there's our 1380. So here's, you know, the, yeah. the option right now. And I say the option as in the option of what you'd like to do, right? Sure. You have the option to take. Now, he had shorted this. So right now, if you buy it back at 22, you're getting basically 78 cents on the dollar. Yeah. Right? right? And I believe he was putting up, risking about $40 per contract. Yeah. Because it was out of the money. So he's risking 40 to make 60. Right. Which would make sense. You know, you're out of the money. Right. So you, you better be getting more than one-to-one -one for your money. That's right. Because automatically you're out of the money. Um so yeah, and that's that's with a lot of time left, as in six full hours right here until right. four fifteen. Right. If the Russell stays where it is, yeah. Um, you know, and and Mike's around a computer or anybody when they're managing these trades, you know, you got like two hours, you got one hour left. 
that's where you might just want to consider taking that money because there can be huge five-point swings that can swing an 85 percent 85 cents on the dollar to nothing you know right. this can oscillate and real that, quick at the end of the day and that will go down pretty tremendously in the next couple hours right that's yeah this is you know he, he I mean, you would be able to buy it back much cheaper folks if it stays at the same price level Yes, yes, yes. There's there's still premium in here, yes, right? You know, right. that's that premium's going to disappear. And so Mike wants it to disappear right now because right. he has, you know, an in the money it's option. It's decaying, exactly. Baby. Every second he's making money. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know what? If he rides it out and it's still where it is, maybe it's not worth taking, you know, as in you're you're not going to be getting as much premium to hold it till expiration at that point. Maybe right. it's then trading at 8 by 15, 8 by 14, right? Do you really want to let the last hour play out of a long weekend for that extra $14 out of the 100, maybe you'll take the 86, right? right? Especially right. if you got in at 40, 42, that's 100% profit. And what he was so excited about, too, is that the difference here is that he has three contracts this time. He does. So he can, get his, he can get his principal back. Take a couple off and right. let the last one ride right. if you want. Right. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. How about, can we, I don't know where you're going to jump. What, what did I show you before the show? Oh. Yeah, let's uh, take a peek for all the listeners. Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin. Hey, you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right Perfect. back. Perfect. They'll gonna, have to wait for the three-minute break. Be, we're going to be looking at uh, Bitcoin. Dow Industrials right now are down 14. The NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is actually down a point, man. <laughs> Miracles must be happening here. Uh, S&P uh, S&P is a flat. Gold is up by 10.40. Silver is up 15 cents. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 11. You get the NASDAQ flat, S&P is the flat. We get open, we take a look at uh, Bitcoin here. So this had quite a ride. Uh, well, Until yesterday. Yeah. Quite a ride down. No doubt. It's almost like you can't even see the destruction yesterday because that chart's so high. And you know, I'm just that's right. Still. And so, uh, watch the spread yesterday, folks. Okay, the high was 27.98, the low was 22.20. Nice 570 point drop. Pretty intense. Man. Pretty intense. That's 20 percent essentially from yeah. the top. Right. And what I said too, it's not like you know this is a, a an extremely liquid equity where people could short the top and buy the bottom, and you know because I don't know we don't know how the exchanges work as well, but you can see that some of them. Are 50 points away from the other so right and what are the transaction fees for these here's an eight dollar spread right here's a two dollar spread two dollars eight dollars but again we're looking at all the way from 2358 to 2384 um, so there's some variety on where where those prices rest right but pretty remarkable and and it speaks to the fact that you know it's not just going to be volatility straight up when you're dealing with that type of volatility there's going to be volatility on the way down too no no doubt um, let me Hopefully, just... if people had some serious bitcoins, that they took some money off the table as it reached that twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven hundred dollar level. I agree, man. Let's go to Reddy and Mount Vernon in New York. Hey, Reddy, what's going on? Hey, good morning, um, Tom. Um, it's been a while since I talked to you guys. How you been? Listen to you guys. Good, good. Um, you know, it's just a little bit of rain, but you know, it, it's, it's all good up here in New York. Good. Um, so, uh, I'm looking at Netflix, Tom. I shorted it a little bit yesterday, and I'm thinking, should I hold my shorts till maybe, you know, for the next 15 days or so? Let's take a look at it. You get Netflix. It's trading uh, at $161. The low for the year is 84 The high is 164 Okay, so... Let me put this on a weekly for a second. You know, as you go through the chart, just fundamentally, I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they told me I hadn't even realized it, that House of Cards comes out with a new season, oh. like May 30th. Dangerous. So, yeah, I was excited for that. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with that programming already. It's one of my favorite shows. They have, you know, House of Cards, Kevin Spacey, so they have a new season coming out. Yeah, next yeah, week, yeah, and that's probably going to garner week. a lot of publicity because yeah. I didn't even know about it. People are going to be talking about it. People are going to be binge binge watching it. Um, just <laughs> something to consider. Agree, agree. Okay, okay. Well, let's leave that. That's yeah, the fundamental no, no. aspect. Let's, yeah, let's... and you know what you have here: one fifteen, one forty-eight. Uh, you get a forty-three point eight to B. Yeah, you don't want to be shot. This. This I think is that's a... thirty-three. Fifteen to forty-eight. Thirty-three. So. And 38 is your... 138, that's like 76, 176. Yeah. So this is an ABC up. This is a confirmed ABC up ready to 176. Okay. It, it, it had taken its B point out the week of... Uh, that a week ago. Yeah, the week of uh, the 25th. Yeah, April 28th. April, you know, so I, yeah, I wouldn't hang there, man. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. And then, yeah. so the way that... The, now, now, the cool thing here is this. What I like to do is this, is that when you see a confirmed ABC up, right? Because I, I can see what you're going for. I mean, it, you know, this looks like it wants to pull back because particularly two days ago when it came down, it came down with some volume, right? So yeah. the way that I do this, you let it, most of the time you're going to get that full extension of the ABC up, right? Mm -hmm. when, it, when it gets up to that price point, that's when you really start looking at it because two different things end up happening. Is that when an ABC finishes, whether it's up or down, normally you get a pullback. You know, sure. if it went up, you get a pullback. If it's down, you get a bounce. You got it. So yeah. you get two things going for you there. Do you know what I mean? It's and like maybe oh, that house of cards gives it that last little oomph. Exactly. Because they will. Oh, Every yeah. newscast. I mean, I'm going to be. We're going to be talking oh, yeah, about yeah, it, man, because I'm going to be watching it. Right. You know, right. for sure. Right. Um, Tom, one last question. What was the C point price that you that you said? One thirty eight. One thirty eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Too, have a great weekend, have a great man. Weekend. So, Amazon. What about Amazon? Let's go. Where's the thousand bucks, man? Are we man? there yet? What's the high? Nine ninety-eight sixty-five. No, nine ninety-nine. It was yesterday. yesterday. It's nine ninety-nine. How yeah. about nine ninety-nine? Nine ninety-nine. That's perfect. That's Amazon's calling, man. Nine ninety-nine with Prime shipping. You know? Is it? No, I'm saying oh, you know all their yeah. prices as okay, in nine right. ninety-nine. Prime, right. you know. And it so sounds you, like an Amazon price. Yeah. You know, it's like you, you get Google. At 973, the question is, does Google want to whack the thousand bucks too? <laughs> you know? It's like, okay. 
So let's go inside the NDX 100 and see what the strength is versus the weakness. <laughs> Look at Alta Salon, man. It's Alta, no R. Alta Salon. Alta. It's sick. Up another three and a half, three point five percent. Norwegian Cruise Lines up two. Costco's up two. Uh, Orly, uh, O'Reilly uh, Automotive. O'Reilly up one point eight. Um, that's Shire. Yep. Yeah, Shire is down. Uh, two Seagate two point nine percent. Seagate's off two. Alexan, that's this thing's been getting Alexion. killed. Alexion, that's been getting here. Look at look at this chart. This is a a one way chart. <laughs> uh, five months ago, it's at one forty five. Here at ninety seven. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials. Now, what what you had happened yesterday uh, when the oil market got killed? They, I'm going to bring a, the, a couple of these big oil stocks up in a second, but uh, that really took them for a spin. Inside the Dow today, the leader on the way down is uh, IBM that's putting five negative points in, United Health's putting five, Boeing's putting four, Goldman's putting three, uh, putting positive inside, inside, Disney's putting five, DuPont's putting three, Microsoft's putting two. Nothing too dramatic on either, no, either side, which is um, why we're probably only down nine single Okay, digits. so now let's go into ExxonMobil. And we had you, a $4 oil move yeah, yesterday. That's a big move. The, you know what the amazing part is? Is that Exxon and Chevron haven't been able to get, catch a bid even when, when we went from 45 to like 52. Uh, True. And then what you had happen yesterday is this, is that you actually came down and you had an expansion of volume. And we had a light volume market. So it's like, hey, this is building cause to get into the lows, which is pretty intense. Because the weighting structure you know, inside the Dow, it's, sure. these are big stocks. Sure, you know? market cap wise. Well, they used, they used to be yeah. bigger. <laughs> they did. Um, Remember when the oil companies used to be the biggest companies around? Totally. Now it's the Apples and the Amazons yeah, and the. It but is. For all, the longest time, Exxon yeah. had it, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. If we go over to the financials, we take a look at the financials. Um, they're flat out here, but, you know, they haven't been able to catch attraction either. You know, so. Um, well, as we come back to work next week, what's going to get interesting is that yeah, we're coming right back in and window dressing. Uh, look, at the dollar still can't catch a bid. You know, and if you haven't test drove the, the Nadex platform, folks, uh, bottom line, uh, you can come out here um, this weekend, you know, put it up, uh, get ready for... Uh, Maybe this is the calm before the storm. Yeah, well, I mean, the VIX is still at what? The 10, 1030 we saw yeah, pre market, right. a little bit of a rise. I don't right. even know where that rise came from. Dow was yeah. down like 10 or 20. As in, really, more risk today than yesterday? I don't know. You know, as in VIX at yeah. 1030 versus 10 yesterday. Well, you know, it was interesting. On the way in, um, I was listening to an interview on Bloomberg, and the Myron Scholes, who wrote the first, you know, it's the Scholes uh, option chain, and that's when options really became. Sure, the model. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's a guy that's doing business with them right now. That they just wrote a, a joint paper, and uh, Tom Keen was asking him, uh, you know, about what is the difference in this paper and you know where Scholes has been in the past. And he was talking about that they think they're, we're in a world that uh, it's getting priced in more that all these swan events are happening, right? Sure. But what they're also bringing in is that which they didn't bring in before that you should be also thinking about those swan events when things go dramatically higher okay. and you want to be in them. Okay. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. 
Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is down 12. You get the Nasdaq flat. S&P is a flat. And uh, we got about another hour and a half of this market. Uh, it looks like this market's just going to flatten right out. Coming into the summer. That's right. The summer weekend, man. It's summer. Summer begins. The official start of summer. Yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Gotta yeah. love it. I have to love it. If we go over to uh, good old King Dollar, uh, this is pretty amazing. I mean, I I'm bearish on the dollar, but it's actually really... Uh, Pretty shocking that I can't even get a counter trend bounce. It's quite a you move, know? yeah. It really, I mean, you know, you're talking five months ago, the dollar was at 103.790. Literally the start of the year, January yeah. 3rd. Yeah. And, you know, the more that this stays down into these lower levels, uh, the more that, you know, that thing wants to bust down to the next level. Sure. Next lower level. Sure. You know, and in that context, folks, you know, uh, one of our great sponsors, Everbank. Um, let's go through these accounts because these these this is I, these accounts that Everbank has, um, particularly you know when, when you get a dollar that's going south. Definitely. Um, the way these are just normal savings accounts basically, um, and you're not trading it. I mean, they, it, it's it's it, and we talk about trading so much. This is a whole different ball game. It's just that you, you're taking. You know, the if you hit the banner on the right hand side, you're gonna see it says grab your passport, step into foreign currencies. Um, you know, you can start as low as $100 a month. Definitely. Uh, you can open the account for $2,500. Yeah, so it's a world ac um, world currency access deposit account. So you can open that account, and we'll just click on it, with $2,500 yeah. to open. Or you can do the $100 a month purchase plan, which right. is where we just were, which is where the link on the front page of TFNM brings yeah. you. Um, you know, if you're doing the $100 a month, maybe that's a great time to even you're averaging in. So yeah. you're not completely that's in right. at the price we're at right, right now if you get some volatility. That's right. And yeah, like you said, maybe you're just diversifying or maybe you're actually using those funds in whatever country that yeah. you plan on going to. Sure. You know? Yeah. And and what, what happens, so this is what's really cool here too, folks. Okay, you just move up to the sure thing. Um, you know, there's no monthly fees. You actually get a a yield, you know, it's going to be small yields like yeah. any other check, but you get a yield. They're FDIC insured, they're IRA eligible, um, you know, and they're available for business. If that's, if you know, definitely for a business, if you're doing business in another country and you have to pay for goods in that country, that's that's an easy one. That's, that's really why are you doing that if that's the case exactly. for sure? Because you, you're gonna you're gonna basically buckle down one side of your balance sheet, all your expenses. Sure. You know? Yeah. 
and plenty of options, plenty of currencies. So yep. check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Best way to do it, too, is just give them a call. They're awesome. 855-750-4051. They'll help you out. I'm sure whoever's going to get into this, maybe you have some questions, talk to a real person on the right. line, walk you through how to open an account, get that in action. And then, you know, once you have an account open, too, right, what happens? Once you have an account, you have access to everything, everything. they do. You know, yeah, those right. market safe CDs that they do, no risk, upside, you, you know, exactly. once you have an account, you can do all that. Right. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Let's let's go to money bags. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> Mike. Listen, I did it. I did the thirteen eighty six. Uh, I think it was the next day after that one too, Tom. You did. Ah, look at you. When it rose even higher, you went. So let's pull it up, right? Small cap two thousand. We're jumping to the weeklies. So the first one, Mike had was thirteen eighty. The next price leg up was the thirteen eighty six. Wow. Um, Holy cow. You hot ticket, man. Pretty good, Mike. Now, something to consider, you know, that 1386, right now you can take 92 cents on the dollar. You know, you're 10 points away, but maybe it's something worth worth keeping your eye on. If it moves against you, even a few points, gets up to 1380, maybe you take that 1386 off. Something to consider, man. That's a lot of money right now. You know, would you make that 1386 trade right now, putting 93 cents up for to make seven? Tommy, there you go. You're right. You, 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 that was the same situation I had with gold that day. You're yeah. right. That one I take it off right now. You're right. Yeah. And especially if you got a 1380, you got a 1386, yeah. you know, you should probably make a decision and take one or two off just in case you get a 10 point pop before the end of the day. Take that off and then go bring your wife to the Four Seasons and go look at the public <laughs> garden, man. Totally. Kick that, a, kick that weekend blast. off early, yeah. right? <laughs> Tommy, Tom. Tom, how much time do we have till your next break? Oh, we get some time, man. All right, can I can I just give you my nostalgic view from uh, Mike from Somerville being a tiger, real quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's hear it. Give me, give me the, give me the, give me the stage here. All right. So this is my view as a tiger. I listen to O'Brien at 4 p.m. on the radio at 1060 in Boston. He reads his life lesson card in the beginning of the show. And he teaches us about life, but he thinks he's just a stock guy. Then if I want to listen to Bud Ross, I have to listen to him on the Internet. 1060 has such a low signal that the sun has to shine, and I can't listen to Tom all the time. Because it goes <laughs> in and out. Then I get an iPhone, and my world opens up. And Tom is developing this Tiger Network. I download the app and click on the blue bar, and there they are. Then then the app went away, but but... Then I could just go to TFNN Mobile and click on that same blue bar, and all it's all good. Then came the TFNN TV, but I can't watch because I'm climbing poles, and I'm in customers' basements, but I can still listen on my earbuds. Then Tom builds his amazing network and fills the hours with great traders. Then Andy Heck was a, just a guest on Tom O'Brien's show, and now he, we listen to him on his own show and get his newsletter. Now I can watch... And listen to Tom and his son Tommy at 10 o'clock. How amazing is life? That's amazing. That's, That's awesome, man. You know, You're awesome, you man. Know, thank you so much. And you know it's so cool. I know, you know, you still listen to our man Bud Rolfs. He had great... Poems, right? So Following this is, in those footsteps, man. We was, need some good poems that, on the air. That's so applicable, too, because Bud would have one for, for Memorial We're going to have to send Bud that clip. I'm sure yeah. he'll appreciate it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out here. I'm out here. I don't always call, but I'm out here. You're Thank awesome, you so man. much, man. Have a great have a weekend, week. Mike. Thanks for that, man. Bye-bye. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. There that's we go. Gotta amazing. love it. That's amazing. That's awesome. It really is. Totally. You know, you know what's crazy is that... that it's just, it's, it's just great. It's, <laughs> that was awesome. It for sure. really is, man. We gotta pull up some of those. We, I gotta, you know what? I gotta. As soon as we get off, I'm gonna give Bud a call. See if That's I can right. get him on this afternoon. Perfect. One of his see what he's doing. Wouldn't that Fan, be good? Oh, totally. Yeah. If you did, I'm sure most. Can of he do the? Can he do a show? Let's have him do a show now. <laughs> yeah, he can do a show. He can definitely do he, a show. Of course, he can do a show. His grandkids are getting that's old what, He's got now. too many grandkids to be hanging out with. That's that's his they problem. They can do a show quite with a them problem right to have, but quite I, a perfect problem. You know, I bet problem those grandkids now, like oh <sighs> they're not they're not babies. That's for sure no. anymore. My God, time flies, Unreal. man. They're gonna be they're gonna be eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, right? Yeah, yeah. easy oh, pickings babies, for sure. Yeah. Right, for sure. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We go over and we take a look at the. Uh, where is good old Walmart? So the 
it, well, it's going to get interesting here. It's, it seems like the setup's going to be the good old Walmart against uh, Amazon. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. So Walmart's they're the ones. They're the they're the one that might actually be able to take them on in yeah. terms of the infrastructure. Right. You know, the right. warehousing. Right. The 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 pricing power. Yeah. Um, very few can compete with Amazon on pricing power, right. and Walmart's one of the select oh, they few. Are. And they're they they're plowing money into technology. Yeah. yeah. And you know it's going to be. I, I wonder, like the the battle of the the WalMarts and the Amazons as to talking with Procter and Gamble, saying, okay, we want you to repackage this stuff. That's Amazon, I think. Yeah. Walmart has all these stores. I know. That's, no, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So Walmart would be saying, no, no, we, you don't repackage that. That's a tough that. one, though, right? It is. Well, Walmart, it is. It's going there. It's and that's going. what if you're Procter right. and Gamble, you're not going to be receptive to Walmart saying, don't do that. Yeah. Let us sell they it. They want both. Them. Right. Right. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is flat. You get the NASDAQ up four. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the higher volume stocks, and this is uh, no doubt going to be a low volume market out here today. You got Bank of America up six cents. Uh, let's see, GameStop. Oh, that's getting yeah, it's down buck sixty two. That's nothing heavy, but ah, that's percentage wise, that's a huge move. Yeah, that's like four or five percent. Yeah, Best Buy's down a buck seventy nine. Uh, let's go into some of the Dow stocks here. Okay, so you got. Uh, 
Big Blue's down 86 cents. You get international paper off 13. It's not much movement there either. J.P. Morgan's up 11. Uh, Disney is up uh, 82. Let's go over to Disney and see what they have happening with good old ESPN. How that's uh, see that's this is still hurting them. Um, has a high volume low at 105. Put this on a weekly. It's, it's, it's amazing just technically how this works because you know look at that that's 2015 right that's when they let me see pull it back for if that was one of the first times that they really got hit yeah it's the, that's yeah. that's the first time that they got hit with those numbers on ESPN sure so we went from 122 my god down to 90 in five weeks and then it comes all the way back up to 120 gets to a lower low of 86 comes all the way back up to 116 and then comes off again with volume so we're at 108 mm. this is dangerous at 108 see that that one of those bars they're going all the way in October I mean August is 109 that digs into that bar it means that you know the thing wants to go to lower price yeah so I mean, I already saw reports, you know, last week, and they this is priced in the market, but, you know, Facebook's going to begin streaming, I think, one game a year. Yeah. Um, so live sports is going to start being implemented into technology companies, whether it's Facebook. And right. Facebook's not even really their competition. They probably are, but first you think of Netflix and Amazon Prime, right? right? But boom, right. man, if you just jump those two and even to Facebook, as in Facebook's a competitor, and I'm sure Netflix and Amazon realize that, but why can't Facebook just jump right past Netflix and Amazon no, I, and be the ones, you know, and you I, just log into Facebook I, I and you watch they, all of that for free. Right. And I would say that I don't know where the cutoff date is, but I would say that anyone that's like 18 years old and younger right now, they don't even watch TV. Sure, right. <laughs> you know, so so right. it's like, what's going to happen? Right. You know, they just don't want, yeah. you know, it needs to be we, available we're, we're going away. Phone, I, your... You know, my generation going away. It's like, what's going to happen? It's like, we don't even watch TV. Yeah. You know, TVs it, are going to be a relic, man. It, it does. Yeah. It's, it's it, you know, and what I don't, you know, they're, they're watching shows and all that, but it's, everything is on their phone. Yeah. Everything Everything's going to be an app. Yeah. And that YouTube is big because there's so many things that on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's not that YouTube. YouTube. It's YouTube. Well, don't, yeah. don't date yourself too much. Yeah. That whole internet thing is going to be pretty large, yeah, I feel totally. like. It is. That whole, that whole YouTube thing. <laughs> no, no they, I completely agree. It's yeah. exactly. It's no. It's, yeah. They must be sitting there. They got to be sitting there thinking that. Because they know what the numbers are and what the age group is sure. that's not turning on TV. Oh, right? sure. That's watching it's true streaming. And they're looking you always like, want to be in a growing industry, not a dying yeah, industry. And right. they are in a growing industry in terms of content delivery right. online. Um, people are pulling the plug. And the battle is on to see yeah. who gets them. Right. Yeah. Pretty amazing. So New House of Cards coming up. Yeah. Have you watched the second season? I don't know if you did. I, I love that show. I, no, I, I, I binge watched the second season in like four days when it came out. Second or third, I get confused. They go for so long. Right. And I always watch them the moment they come out. Right, right. Kevin Spacey. Yeah, he's good. He's great. No, there's no doubt. Yeah. I like that that whole scene. The um, we get over and we take a look at the uh, let's go into the IWM for a second. So the those small caps, they're moving around a little here. You know, we were just talking with Mike and we got a little pop, uh, you know, the we, the IWM from 136 to, oh, yeah, 136.78 to 137.23. But that's, gonna, that's coming right into the open. So right where we are right now is going to give it a little bit of challenge here. The um, XAU, the HUI, this is going to get interesting, folks, in the context of the gold and silver equities. I mean, there, you got the XAU flat out here, but what you, what you what you also have is that it's hanging, you know, right at the the top of this trend. The top of the trend is 86.06, you know, at 84.69. You know, we, we back down, rejected lower price. What we are going to have, let's go take a look at this on a weekly. So on a weekly, I'd love to see this thing close it. Oh, yeah, so I'd love to see it close at 85.62. That'll be over the high of two weeks ago. You know, it's got a whole dollar, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Which you know, the XAU can move that. Yeah, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Uh, if we go to the Gold Bugs Index, uh, same type of setup. 
that's at 195.52. And that number, you'd like to see a close over, I think, 198.99. That'd be closing kind of almost to the highs. We've hit 201 this, this, this week. Okay. Um, yeah. And I guess we, there's no doubt, uh, Andy and I were talking about this too, that, you know, when you look at the aspect of Bitcoin and you look at the, the, the gold, who would ever think that Bitcoin could be two and a half times the price, or two times the price of an ounce of gold? For sure. It's pretty intense. It is. It's, 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 there's no doubt about that. And it's actually not any more today, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Things go quickly. Yeah, you're down $73. I mean, you know, you were talking about the real estate in, what was it, Toronto or Vancouver? Oh, Which one? I yeah. confused the two, as in it just speaks to the same deal, you know? If you want to sell, sell when the selling's good. Sell when you can, not when you have to. Oh, big Dave White says that, too. Yeah. But we all understand it, and that right. graph speaks to it, That what, what they have going on. Is that is that Vancouver or, or Toronto? It's, it's, I forget what... It's both. What happened is this. It, but it's First, Vancouver slowed down. Uh, Toronto slowed down. This is the um, uh, one that's happening right now, though, right? Toronto's no. the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, Toronto's yeah. the one I was just talking about yesterday. Yeah, and I had read articles on that as well, yeah. too. And I saw those same statistics, go ahead, where you're yeah. just like, huge supply, very little buyers. Totally. Um, you and, know, good. No, and it just has to do with, it's, it's, you know, it's really terrible when these frauds take place, right? They do destroy economies. And, and so, sure. you know, home capital, okay, this is the... the, the, the the bank, basically the bank, yes. that was giving mortgages out, and yes. I believe it's one out of every five mortgages that okay. they have in Toronto. Okay. And so what happens is that as you get that free money, and money you're not supposed to have, everything gets bid up, and then all of a sudden when it falls apart, you know, everyone gets hurt. Sure, and so no, I hear you, yeah. It's really, it's, it's yeah. you know, hey, I'll show you another one. Now watch this, folks. This is I'm, 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 I'm going to skip from that, but just to show you what happens with fraud and how bad things can get. There's a, there's a great story today. And, I, you know, you always wonder how these, here it is right here, how these companies can get so big so quick, right? So what this story is about, it, the, the headline is Dirty Family Secret is behind JBS's 20 billion yeah, buying we're spree. We're going to Brazil, perfect. We're going to Brazil, yeah. right. And the, the amazing part, though, this just came out this morning. This him and his brother had sat down and they explained how they got so big well it was a fraud right from the very beginning sure they they got money off the state bank and they end up paying bribes of 250 million dollars that's yeah. that's what they've claimed so far we can talk about it when we get back because i see the fraud of the the real estate market a little differently as in it got so frothy you got to be aware no matter what oh yeah, Let's talk yeah. About stay right there tommy and i come right back folks Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And uh, we were talking about the, these two brothers who end up uh, with the largest uh, meatpacking business in the world. Uh, and what they're explaining is that when they started this, uh, their, their first deal basically that had to pay off, they only started, uh, the, the bribe was $3.2 million, or 4% of when they bought Swift Armor uh, from Argentina. Sure. And it goes from there, folks, that they end up paying out in bribes, $220 million. Yeah, so let's jump around because yeah. it's pretty interesting. So here are the Batistas. They recounted how their decade-long scheme started in 2005, a meeting with Montega, who served as the president of the bank, basically the BND, BNDES, from 2004 to 2006, before taking over as the finance minister for the country. Not bad when you start bribing somebody as a, at a bank and then right. they just move up to the government. Right. Um, but at that point... Um, and he was the, the finance minister from 2006 to 2014. Sure, no, I yeah. hear you. And that's, you know, it continues with the bank, but it, sure. it's, it's good to have people in good spots, right? So while other executives at the meeting were skeptical, um, Montega was all on board. Why was he all on board? I wonder. Well, with Montega's blessing, the Batistas alleged JBS started looking for opportunities, and they quickly found one $200 million offer, and as a result, they had to pay $3.2 million to an associate of Montega's. That's where it gets interesting, yeah. right? But then, after a while, um, they just cut the associate right out, right? right? The brothers claimed to have continued paying kickbacks to that associate until 2009, when they said, you know what, this is just one extra step we don't need, why don't we just start negotiating with the man directly, right. and start paying, they paid $220 million in bribes with other money, funneled into political ca campaigns. Um, they were the biggest campaign contributors in the 2014 election, in which the President Rousseff won her bid for a second term. I mean, huge implications. And then they even talk about down here, right? Um, and where are we on? Well, they and, and what what they got to do too, folks. And that it, down there is sure. that they got to even come in the America's market, the United States. Yeah, that's uh, right. Outbid people that you know normal bid because bottom line is that they had funny money. That's you know that's what it comes down to. And yeah, they they made. It, and I'm trying to find where it was. Uh, Raised the eyebrows, I think. Is it okay? Yeah, because they came into the cattle industry here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might have been up a little bit. And when they came into the cattle industry here, with they were raising eyebrows because it's like, how how can these guys pay this much money in order to control the industry? Yeah. And you know the bottom line is we know how they could do it now because you, you, they had a state so, bank behind them. So here we go. Not only was they able to make purchases for loans secured with bribes, they were able to jump into the U.S. cattle market, outbid potential U.S. investors through ill-gotten means, right. um, and be able to gain a control of a large portion of the U.S. cattle industry. Of course, when you're just bribing people in charge of the whole government, getting money that you wouldn't have otherwise, yeah, right? Yeah, because they, they, and this is the, the, the aspect, because they had the state bank behind them. Yes. You know, it's that's like, right. You know, and not a, not so a bad this is this, the thing that's going to be amazing here, folks. This this bribery deal in Brazil has been going on like three or four years now. So this one just come out. So they're laying everything out. Yeah, they're not going to get any criminal charges. No, and, nothing. I mean, in fairness, like that's how deals work. You want to bring down an entire government, <laughs> you might have to make some deals with people, right? I mean, that's in it, all honesty. That's it, you know, it's it, probably good for the people of Brazil 
these people get off and yeah. the whole government corruption goes down. Like, that's how well, it has they, to happen sometimes. As they, much as they end up, they deserve to be in jail, too. But you can't get everything in, you want. Inside that article, right, yeah. it had up to 1,500 politicians. I, I imagine, you know. <laughs> we'd, yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Oh, man. I mean, that's how that's how, you know, huge, you know, oh, whether yeah, crime yeah. families. Right. Yeah. You know, there's always that one guy brings down all the rest and yeah. he gets a sweetheart deal. But guess what? That's how the big on shows get brought down. So I'm let's right. jump around one final oh, as yeah. we wrap up the hour. So here's our Russell 2000. That's good. We our got man, action. Our man Mike taking a little yep. bit of heat as we got there, but thankfully pulling back, back down. That was awesome. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And, of course, then Swim Lessons. Uh, have a great weekend, safe weekend. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, man. Thanks, pal. Wow! Go get him. Hey, Mike, thanks for that poem. It was awesome, man. Totally. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.